What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Uh... Ooh. Huh. Uh... I'm not sure. I'm... No, I don't think it is. Here's what I'm looking at, okay? I'm looking at LP. Now, I've seen people say LP as it to stand for Lincoln Park, but I don't think that's the case because usually when it says posted by, it says Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park is usually spelled out. And it's not the case here, it just says LP. So I'm going to assume this is not Lincoln Park and this is actually a new band. So let's see if I'm right here. Um, if I'm going to go for it, I'm going to go for broke. So let, let's, let's just jump right into it. Uh, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight. Hopefully, <laughs> if it is Lincoln Park, I'm gonna look like a fool right now, but we'll find out. Uh, we have LP. Yes, indeed. How about that? LP making their debut on the channel. Okay, this was requested by uh, Nathalia Mera, and Nathalia wanted to see me uh, react to this song by LP called "Lost on You." Now, have I heard the song before? Nope. <laughs> as far as I know, I've never heard the song before. I've never even heard of LP before, unless it is, in fact, Lincoln Park, at which point I'm completely wrong. However, there is a chance I may have heard this song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song, and I suddenly go, Oh, yes, I have heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by LP, okay, and the video has 655.8 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. LP, Lost on You, live session. Yeah, I don't think this is Linkin Park. <laughs> I don't recognize this cat. Um, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say this is not Linkin Park, so we're going to go with just LP. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> I wonder if I should say what I'm about to say because I have a feeling I'm going to get some flack for it. No, nope, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I don't care. If I get flack for it, I get flack for it. If I were to not see what I'm seeing, if I were to just listen to this like on the radio or, you know, on my phone or whatever, and I just hear the music, and I don't see what's going on at all. I would swear this is a uh, this is a this is a female singing. I swear. Wow, man, freaked out. The range is high enough to be in that like that high tenor range, that low even I don't know about low alto, but high tenor range for sure. 
I swear, I it sounds like a like a female singing. I swear it does. That's the truth. It's clean, well defined, great diction, great vowel formation, great vocal flipping. Um, but the tone is throwing me off. I swear, I thought it was a woman. I swear to God, I did. Um, it's very it's very throwing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it sounds good. Don't get me wrong. It sounds good. It just, it's really kind of throwing me for a loop. That's all. Uh, let's keep going. kind of range okay kudos to him uh for being able to sing that high that comfortably without sounding strained uh all the props in the world to him um it's interesting i, I don't know if it's my cup of tea but it's it's interesting um having the bass being the main melodic instrument carrying the melodic line in the instrumentation that's always cool with me. I always dig that. Guitar locking in with the percussion to lock in, you know, form the foundation, which is always good. It it's always good to have an instrument with the drum. It doesn't have necessarily have to be bass. It could be it could be guitar. It could be keyboard. As long as somebody is with the drummer to lay down the foundation. That's the important thing. And in this case, it's the guitar. Um No, so far, like I said. I don't know if this is my cup of tea. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I, if I can even honestly say I'm really enjoying this, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not sitting here wanting to, you know, cut my ears off with a razor blade. But at the same time, it's uh, it's not really up my alley. I think. I don't know. Let's let's keep going. Let's. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> Wish that I could see the machinations of the sand of joy, love expectations in the own mind. Hold me like you never lost your patience. Tell me that you love me more than hate me all the time. Then you're still mine. So small.
I see the appeal. I do see the appeal. The song is not unpleasant. Um, the musicianship is solid. The vocals are unique. Okay. I'm having a real hard time getting behind this, though. I'm not going to lie. I I am kind of looking at the clock. I, I kind of am. I'm going, when is this going to be over? Because I'm, I'm not really... I'm not really enjoying this, if I'm being honest. It, it just, it's not my cup of tea. Like I said, I'm not hearing anything bad. I'm not hearing anything horrible. I'm not hearing anything that's making me want to, like I said, I don't, don't want to cut my ears off, but at the same time, it's like, uh, <laughs> it's it's just, there's no drive. There's no energy. It's like, uh, dear Lord. Anyway, um, minute and 51 to go. Let, let's just, let's just keep going here. sitting there closing my eyes grooving to the guitar going yeah yeah the guitar and the bass of the drums yeah everything sounds good and then here comes that vocal way up high in that falsetto i was like ah <laughs> oh wow okay anyway um mm, yeah yes <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying not to look at the clock. That's why I'm closing my eyes. I don't want to look at the clock. But oh God. Anyway, let's let's finish this. Let's finish this off. Let's let's finish this hoe down, and uh, we'll get to the review. <laughs> I know I didn't enjoy it. That's that's that doesn't even need discussion. Um I'm trying to figure out what score I'm gonna give this. Let me uh, let me think about it. I'll get back to you. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in the review. Well, there you go, folks. That was LP with Lost on You. This was a request from Nathalia Mera. Okay. Um, I thought about it. And I, I, I spent some time on this because I was really trying to weigh everything. What I heard. Um, the instrumentation. The execution. 
I, I, I thought about everything, and this is the score I came up with. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be raising their eyebrows going, really? And I'm, I'm just going to tell you, yes, really. This is the score I came up, and I will give my explanation as to why they're getting the score, and I will do it in five minutes or less, okay? All right. First of all, the score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 6.8. Yep, 6.8. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. Um... Let's start with the good stuff, okay? Instrumentation. Having the bass player play the main melodic line was really good, okay, from the beginning. Uh, guitar was locked in with the drummer, holding back down on, on the back end. Sounded really good. I liked that diversification. I liked that little bit of a mix-up. That was cool. Um, the tone from the bass and from the guitar sounded really good. Uh, the instrumentation on the bass, simple. Kick tambourine shakers he had three shakers in the left hand tambourine in the right and he was hitting the kick um i know a lot of people are like well where's the snare where's the toms don't need them in a song like this especially you definitely don't need them uh the tambourine taking the place of the snare to give it a little softer feel a little more intimate feel so that was good uh shakers instead of hi-hat same thing uh softer feel more of a more of a softer approach for a song like this um the songwriting on this was it was it was good it was it was good it, it wasn't terrible okay if the song didn't make any sense whatsoever i would slam the hell out of it no listen the song made sense all the parts made sense all the all the all the phases and the phrases made perfect sense okay it all sounded conducive to each other and it sounded pleasing to the ear from a melodic standpoint. Having said that, not really my style, not really my cup of tea, not really what I would ever go out of my way to listen to. It was a little too chill for me. Um, if people are looking for chill songs, this would be right up their alley. I don't, I'm not big on chill songs. I never have been and I probably never will be. I, I'm a rocker through and through. So, you know, that's just my personal taste. I still recognize the song is a good song. Okay, absolutely. Let's get to the elephant in the room. Let's talk about that vocalist. Um, wow. I swear to God, I closed my eyes. I listened to him sing. I swear to God, that sounds like a girl. It sounds like a woman. It sounds like a female vocalist. I'm sitting there going, that can't be a dude, but it is. Um, how he's getting his sound like that, I don't know. Um... It's supported. It's that is chest voice. That's the thing that's throwing me off. That that range, that's his chest voice. That's not him going up into head voice or falsetto. That is chest voice. How he can have that type of range with chest voice is unbelievable to me. Uh very throwing, if I'm being honest with you. And then when he went up high into the upper range for him. That really threw me for a loop. And I, I was sitting here with my eyes closed. I'll never forget. I got my eyes closed. I'm listening to the guitar. This is the guitar solo section. I'm grooving to the guitar. I'm like, okay, that sounds really good. I like everything he's doing. It sounds really nice. It's moving along. It's flowing along. Nothing sounds out of place. And then out of nowhere comes the, that vocal line. And that wowed me. I was like, whoa. Forced my eyes open and everything. I was like, yikes! So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, <sighs> here's the thing. Was it bad? No, it wasn't bad. It just, it, it didn't sit well with me personally. I was like, ah. <laughs> so, you know, it, there's a lot of factors to take into account here, okay? At the end of the day, I'm giving it a 6.8. Now, what is a 6.8? Is that a bad score? No. It actually is a pretty good score, believe it or not. Take a look down below in the description. You'll find my scoring system chart. A 6.0 to a 6.9 is the grading scale for pretty good. This is a 6.8. It's up there. It's way up there on the pretty good scale. 
Is it good enough to be really good? No, I don't think so. I don't believe so. Remember though, these scores guys, this is just my own score, okay? I'm not saying this as fact. I'm not saying that as this is how everybody should think. This is just what I think, okay? It's I think it's a 6.8. Now listen, I'm sure there are other people who are gonna say it's a 7.5. They're gonna be people, they're gonna be people who say it's an 8.2. And listen, they're all entitled to their opinions, okay? My opinion, it's getting a 6.8. It's still a pretty good score, okay? It's not great, it's not terrific, it's not amazing, but at the same time, it's not pretty bad. It's not it's not horrible. It's not terrible. It's not even okay. It's pretty good. So, at the end of the day, I'm giving it the 6.8 because I think it is a pretty good song. Like I said, that vocalist has got talent. He's hitting his pitches just right. He's got good tone. It just sounds really out to me. It sounds really weird to me. It doesn't sound, I don't know. It, it, and on top of that, it's just, it, the song itself is just not my cup of tea. It's just not. But I can still give it a pretty good score because I can recognize it for what it is. It's a pretty good song. So, 6.8, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show, and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.